What's going on guys? This is Jason here recording another video. I'm sorry I'm not recording on an actual uh, high quality phone. This is going to be like a really really bad quality video. Um, but I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, finally bypass Honda's display bullcrap and be able to display your iPhone. Now I haven't found a way to bypass it with the Android phone but this is a surefire way to get around it with the iPhone 6. This is the iPhone 6 Plus, just so you guys can see. iPhone 6, you can't really see, there's no plus on it, but it's it's a it's a 6 Plus, just believe me. Uh, right now, I'm on uh, the iPhone iOS version, I think 9.0.2. There you go. So that's the uh, version I'm on right now. Before I get into the video on how to do this, I need everyone to understand that you have to have your iPhone jailbroken. It is a must. You have to do it. Otherwise, it will not work. There's no able, there's no way that I've seen. I've done a lot of research, looked around. There's not many videos on YouTube, so this is why I'm doing it. You need to have your iPhone jailbroken. So, once that's done, what you're going to need is the uh, iOS cable kit that Honda sells or you can just go to uh, Best Buy and buy one. I bought one buying for like $39 or 40 bucks I think. Uh, it's a lightning cable to HDMI and then to another lightning cable to charge at the same time. HDMI and then I can't even fucking zoom in. I don't think I can zoom into this. Yeah, I don't think I can zoom in. It does automatically. Okay. So this is going to plug into the iPhone these are gonna go into the car's inputs okay so before I get into all that I'm gonna show you guys what you need to do after you jailbreak it and you once you have Cydia and all that you're gonna be wanting to get an app called watchdog I believe it's watchdog light some phones that are older versions if you're jailbroken on iOS 8 I believe it's called uh, let's see if I can get it Watch dog. Yeah, there's Watchdog Pro and Watchdog Lite. What I have on my 9.02 is Watchdog Lite. That's what I'm using. Watchdog Pro is a is a $3 app, but it's only be, uh, able to be used on iOS devices 8, and I think that's it. On higher end devices on 9.0s and 9.2s, I'm able to get it. So what you would do is uh, install it, whatever button it is. Once it's installed, you're going to want to go into your settings tab, go down to where it says Watchdog Light. You're going to want to open it up. And then on top, it's going to say App Switcher Toggle. Make sure it's selected. Now, what the app does is it forces the navigation app open at all times. So, what you're going to want to scroll down to is the navigation app. Once you find it down here on the bottom of the apps, you're going to want to make sure that it's enabled backgrounding and behavior is keep in the foreground. Once that's selected, you can go back and now you're able to do the fun part, which is plug it in. I should have had this plugged in already. I don't know why I unplugged it. Plug it in. And then, sorry guys, I'm doing this with one hand so that's plugged in now as you guys can see on the top blue it's gonna be uh, showing that it's plugged into the app and it's utilizing the HDMI feature and you're gonna see the arrow on the screen so once this is all done and plugged in you can set your phone aside uh, click the arrow over it's gonna prompt you on your iPhone if you want to allow the launcher you're gonna want to allow it it's going to show the Honda link and it's going to come up on the string. Now, these two apps as, as well as the launcher are free. The navigation app is $60 purchase. The car, the SI that I have did not come with the navigation so I just wanted to buy the navigation $60 instead of instead of a oh my God. instead of a thousand. So what you're able to do is have the navigation without paying for the thousand dollar price so 
and you need to have the navigation as well. I didn't say in the beginning. I'm sorry. You got to have the navigation app as well. So it's a $60 purchase. But this is a way to get around it. So as you can see on the phone, it's opening up navigation. And that's my address. Okay. So this is the navigation app. And you can touch this all over and it works. And it's, it's not bad, but it's okay. So once that is done and it's open, you can now press the home button and your phone is being displayed. Now, I can put my phone sideways because I have a 6 Plus and I can display my phone right there. Um, now we can open up any app and let's do Netflix. It's not a sideways um, compatible app so it has to go upwards. Wait for it, I'm sorry. The internet's not very great out here. Alright, so let's do half-baked. Just to give you guys an idea. Now this will play through the speakers. And my e-brake is up, by the way. My e-brake is up right now. But I'll go ahead and drive around with it as soon as it starts playing. You can see it's on HDMI. I was gonna say right there, it's not playing on your TV. It thinks this is a TV. So it's now playing. Put the e-brake down and it's still up. So let's go ahead and drive around. So now you can see the reverse camera. It's still playing, you can still hear the sound. So you can see that I'm driving and it's playing and I'm getting a phone call or actually my internet it's not very good but as you guys can see I'm driving and it's still displaying on my screen so that's the main thing you can do any app but the abilities that you have in the navigation <clears throat> let me lower the volume the ability to be able to touch won't be the same because these apps aren't configured to be uh, played and displayed at the same time. Like you're not able to touch onto the screen instead of uh, instead of having to touch on your iPhone. You're gonna have to still have to touch the iPhone. But yeah, so that's Netflix. You can use Google Play. You can use anything. Nothing is limited. Every single app you have is available to you at any time. This Watchdog app is free, but the navigation app costs $60. So it's up to you guys. Some people were able to instead use the, uh, be able to use the, um, instead of the navigation, some people were able to use the Honda, uh, the Honda Launcher app instead and being able to push the home button on the iPhone and then that would work. But for me, the only thing that worked was the navigation because it has to still be displayed on screen so yeah guys this has been fism actually i'll show you guys fism i'm sorry jason that's my other youtube as you can see he breaks up movie still playing he breaks down all the way no he break up he breaks up he breaks down it's still on uh so that was that was netflix we can try Google Maps. And there we go. It's on the screen. So yeah, guys, this has been Jason. Thank you for watching. And I'm sorry this is only for Apple uh, users, but maybe I'll be able to bypass it uh, using my brother's phone, and I'll figure out a way for you guys too. But if you guys do like the video and you do appreciate the hard work I was doing, uh, please leak, leave a like and comment and if you can please subscribe to the channel and I'll uh, This is a pretty big video. I haven't seen many people be able to do this So uh, yeah guys, this has been Jason. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you guys later. Peace